Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to your Monday morning tournament recap, where I will cover all of the highlights that happened this weekend during the CAD vs. CAD Speed Modeling Championship. Now, I've included a link down in the description to the full live stream, and if you want to go and take a look at that, I've bookmarked all of the individual matches, so you can just jump right to the action that you're the most interested in. And of course, please like this video and leave me a comment down below to let me know if you like these tournament recaps, and if you do, I will continue making them throughout the tournament season. Ow! So the tournament kicked off on Saturday, July 15th, and we started out with an absolutely epic showdown between Fabian, who was running Autodesk Inventor, and Ty, who was running a Libre Design Expert. This match really had everything you could possibly ask for. It went all three rounds, and it started off with this drawing, the Swivel Mount Drawing. We saw our runners both get off to a quick start creating this 3D model, but they both struggled a little bit in the middle and they both submitted an incorrect answer for the mass. In this tournament, you're allowed to get one incorrect answer, but then you're allowed to try again. And it was Ty who came up with the correct answer with a mass of 9,415 grams. So Ty won the first point and we moved on to the second round of this match. Now in the second round of this matchup, things really got exciting. We see that this was the drawing they were challenged to create, the corner T. And when it came to the tapered section of this model, Fabian really struggled to get that taper in the correct location. But in the end, he was able to work some magic in Inventor, and we saw the answers come in. Boom, boom, one right after the other. Fabian answered, and then Ty answered. Fabian came in with 196, Ty came in with 197. The correct answer was 197 plus or minus one gram. And in this tournament, we do round to the nearest significant digit. And so that means that Fabian earned the point for that round. That means that each of our runners has one point in this matchup and we are going to the final matchup, the sudden death, to determine who's gonna move on to the round of 16 in this bracket. And so here we see this drawing for the third and final round, the half clamp. And once again, our runners got off to a great start. Fabian actually struggled a little bit in the beginning of this matchup. I think the nerves were getting to him. But in the end, it was Fabian who was able to calculate the correct mass at 1899 grams. And once again, Ty was just right behind him. Within about two seconds of his answer, we saw Ty come in with his answer. So. Good game to both of our runners in this first matchup, but it was Fabian from France using Autodesk Inventor who was able to secure the two points, lock up the win, and move on to the round of 16. Now, once that epic showdown was complete, we moved over to the blue bracket where we got to see another epic CAD vs. CAD matchup, this time featuring Juiced from the Netherlands running Ansys Space Claim, squaring up against Roberto G from Peru running FreeCAD. And they started out with this drawing of this hinge mount and trying to create this drawing using inches and calculating the mass in pounds. And so we saw that both of our runners started out with a really good game plan. It was cool to see both of these CAD systems, but it was Juiced running Ansys Space Claim who was able to calculate the correct mass of 0.724 pounds and lock up the first point in this head-to-head -head matchup. Now, the second model that Juiced and Roberto were challenged to create was kind of tricky. It was this weight plate, once again, using inches and pounds to calculate the mass. And this model featured kind of a tricky revolve and a tricky pattern for the spoke. In the end, it was once again Juiced who was able to calculate the mass correctly, coming in with a mass of 5.35 pounds. And so that secured the second point for Juiced, and that means that Juiced is going to move on to the round of 16. So that's going to do it for our Monday morning tournament recap. Like I said in the beginning, please let me know down in the comments what you think about this format. And of course, please join us this Saturday, July 22nd, where we're going to see our first matchups featuring Fusion 360, Onshape, and SolidWorks.